What's going on, my friends? Tim Kjall Fitness here. So I'm going to go ahead and give a little bit of a Star Wars review, Last Jedi. For those of you who don't like rants, I suggest you click off the video. So to make a long story short, I uh, I definitely, uh, I've always liked Star Wars, right? I got, I got the, well, let's just go with it. But I basically, I have the copies of the films right here. I've had multiple copies throughout my life of various different, you know, the VHSs, whatever. Yeah, I've always had that stuff. But, you know, when I, as a fan, go to a Star Wars film in the theaters, I expect a certain amount of fan service. Right, And when I'm disrespected to the point where I want to walk out of the theater at my beloved Star Wars films, I feel like I have been invaded. I feel like I have been invaded. I feel that I have been mentally molested. Because what you need to understand is that I have certain expectations over the past 40 years of Star Wars lore that I have come to expect out of a Star Wars film. So, when you have an, somebody who doesn't care about the way I feel as a fan and doesn't care about the way you feel as a fan and only cares about the money in your wallet, that triggers me. That infuriates me. Okay. <clears throat> the fact of the matter is that Star Wars is no longer what it once was. Because the fact of the matter is they, the Disney Corporation doesn't give a damn about you. Right? And if Walt Disney were here today, he'd slap the hell out of every single one of those heads up in Disney. Including... Uh, Ryan Johnson. Now here's the thing, right? When you go to a Star Wars film expecting a certain way for it to play out, right? And you don't get that? That's because you were just disrespected. See, as a Star Wars human and individual, you deserve that you should have your dollar work for you. When you go to the movie theater with your hard-earned money, you should be able to go into, especially with a Star Wars film, and have faith <clears throat> That the powers that be and the corporations will understand that you worked hard for your damn dollar. And when you give it into them, you understand the fact that they understand the fact. Or you hope that they understand the fact. That you expect a good time. <clears throat> that you expect some fan service. That you expect that all of your favorite characters aren't killed off. <clears throat> In one film. <clears throat> right? You come to the expectation. See, when you showed up at that front door. And you paid for your popcorn. And you drove out to the movie theater. And you got a few drinks. And you sat down with a few friends. And you took up a Saturday night. Or a Friday night. Or a weekend night. You didn't expect. To be plagiarized. You didn't expect to be. To, to, to be bombarded with this SJW propaganda crap? You expected a good time. And why wouldn't you? You've come to expect it. But the fact of the matter is, the corporations don't give a damn about you. They don't care. And with one film, it proves that they don't care. Because they are on a gay, lesbian, SJW agenda. And nothing's going to change that. Right, until, until all these heads are kicked out of the corporation and you got new people coming in. And that's the fact of the matter. Right, whether you realize it or not. The fact of the matter is, they are far more concerned, right, with showing you that purple haired ladies can be lesbians and also heroes at the same time. They're far more concerned 
with alien breastfeeding in public. They're far more concerned with their feminist agenda. They're far more concerned with demasculizing men. Far more concerned than your dollar, than your fanship. Guess what? They don't give a damn about you. They got they got people over in China who are hopping on the Star Wars bandwagon. They don't care. But you know what they do have? They do have that Chinese girl who working for the maintenance department now, don't they? They have her because all of a sudden they got these Chinese people. So it's not about you. It was never about you. It was never about your fandom. It was never about your allegiance. They care about one thing, one thing only, and that's making money. Well, if that's the case, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take my money, right? For this next movie, I'm going to take it. I'm going to hold it up in the air. I'm going to shine it up real nice. I'm going to stick it upside my wallet. I'm going to stick that in my pocket. I'm going to walk the other way. Take it somewhere else. If that's how Star Wars feels about my money, that's all right. I know exactly where to put it.